he pulled a really old recipe book off the kitchen shelf. What else did you notice? What else, what else, yes. It was not just a recipe book, but it was a really old recipe book. It was a really old recipe book. Wow, that's a lot of, what are those words doing? Turn to the person next to you. What are these really old recipes doing? Describing the book. Yes, it's describing the book. Like, um, if it describes it, maybe like, like the book might be And it would be like, pulled a real, pulled a book from off the kitchen shelf. It would be like, it would be like, what are you just, what book? What is it, a comic book, a recipe book, a story book? Okay, guys, what are these words doing? Everybody tell me, because I hear you using this great word. What are these words doing? They are, everybody? Describing. They're describing. These words are describing what? The noun. The noun? The book. The book? Wait a minute, wait a minute. So these words are describing. Do we know what kind of words describe? What kind of words do that? Do you guys remember? Adjective. Woo Adjective. That's right. Adjective. Now, this is going to be a little challenging because I don't know if you guys know this. Does turn to your partner and try to think about what kind of part of speech is really? Because it is describing the Adjective. What kind of words describe adjectives? Turn to your partner, make a guess. Maybe, um, Avis. Cheryl, what were you guys just saying? You said, what happened with this word? What? And with L-Y. It has a suffix L-Y. There's this particular kind of word that has that. I'll tell you what it is, but I'm not going to put it up here because I only want to put up here what you know. And But you'll learn about them this year. They're called adverbs. Oh, no! Oh, oh, I was going to say what that! What else do you notice about this sentence, kiddos? You guys have noticed a lot about the adjectives. Do you guys notice a lot about the adjectives? Yes. Yeah. 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 Grammar. Thank you, my love. But you might notice something about the punctuation or the endings. Raise your hand if you have not told me something you noticed yet. It has a capital and a what? Verb. Okay, first of all, let's talk about this. Very important stuff that we don't do all the time. Capital. Why do they do that? Turn to your partner. Why do authors capitalize letters? Because they use a period All right, you two, I know you do. Right. You get ready to tell me what they do. Put the first letter. I want you to tell me. Why do we capitalize letters in English at the beginning of a sentence? I mean, has anyone ever asked you why we do this? No. Yes or no? You're like, I don't even know why I'm doing it. Why are we doing it? Um, to tell someone that we're starting the sentence. To tell someone we are starting the sentence. Who is this someone? Uh, the reader. The reader. You said you noticed a verb. Where's the verb? Pulled. Pulled? Okay. Past tense. Oh, boom! What makes it past tense? E-D. E verb. This is some serious, smart sentence observation going on right now. Past tense because it has a... E-D. E -D. Ed. Ed. It has the suffix. E D. There's more you notice? Okay. Um, it tells us when we pull off the kitchen shelf, just a shelf. It's not just a normal regular shelf. It's a what? Kitchen shelf. It's a kitchen shelf. So what is that then? What part of speech is kitchen in this sentence? Yell it out. Good job. All right. Now I want to ask you guys a bigger question. Why did the author choose to use these adjectives? Why is the author using all these adjectives? What does it do for the reader? Turn and talk to your partner. 
Why did the author choose to use all these adjectives? He came in and then like his enemy came back yeah. up to the castle. And what about this? I know there's something. No, but like who has not spoken yet? Why is the author describing the shelf? What does that do for the reader? To make the book a little bit more interesting for the reader to read. So the author is describing the type of book or shelf. The author's trying to make this book more interesting. Is the author trying anything else? Go ahead. Uh, to maybe to like let you image it in your head. Oh, and to help you make an image in your mind? And to make the reader know what it is precisely. The author is using precise words. Very nice. The author is using precise words. That was all very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. The author, wait a minute. The author is describing the book. The author is making this book more interesting and helping the reader make a image in his mind by using precise words? Is that what you guys just said to me? Wow, that is pretty awesome. You know what, when you are writing, when you sit down as writers, you should think about that too. Using words that describe things to make your story more interesting and help your reader make an image in their mind with precise words. I think I have to write all that down. What do you guys think? Yeah. What do you mean no? <laughs> I'm writing down everything you guys know. Descriptive words to make the book interesting and to help the reader. What? Um, image. Let me hear you. Let me hear you all say it. To make a what in their mind? Image. To make the reader make an image in their minds with precise words. Guys, you know what? I want to stop here because this is some beautiful stuff you just said.